So now we need to deal with this uh, friends area right here. So let's dive in. Okay, so here, let's add a few comments so that we know where we are at. So this is below, below the cover area. So in this one div here that's down here, this particular div, there's going to be the friends and this particular div is going to have the posts. So here I'm going to say friends area. Let me go down here, paste and say posts area. So let me stretch this out so that uh, I can add some content in there. And then I'm going to say friends and then add a break tag. That's for the title here that says friends. So let me refresh and there you see it. Friends, but it's too close to here. I needed to leave a gap here. So what I will do, since the items we added, the flexible boxes are right on the edge there. Let me put one more box here. Say div and then put friends inside there, like so. Hit the tab key to move it. Now this one, I'm going to call it the friends bar or something. Friends underscore bar, because it's going to contain all the friends in here, okay? And then I'm going to add an actual div, which will contain, now this div here, this one div is going to be like, one of these segments containing the image and the name of the user just one so that i can easily copy and paste it over and over down here so let me give this one an id as well and say friends just friends will be enough and then inside here i'm going to add an image i'll say image and the source is user one dot jpg because those are the name file names down here if you check this is user one and that's the, the, the guy I want in here. So let me refresh here. And you see that's the guy down here. We still have that issue there. So what I will do is, let me give this image an ID as well so that we style them together. And I'm going to say friends, instead of friends bar, let me call it friends IMG. All right, so, so far so good. We have this flexible item here, which we don't want to add any padding or margin to. So that's why we created this one inside so that we can create a margin and leave some space between uh, this part and this part. Okay, now inside there we put a title and then this is the actual uh, component that we want to create, which is that the user image and the user name, okay? So before I do that, at the end of this, let me add a break tag. Maybe I could put the break tag down here and then put the user's name in there. I'm going to say first user, just for the sake of this tutorial. And when I refresh, you will see first user down here. So let's do some styling so that this one looks much nicer. So let's start with the Let's start with the image. Now friend image so that we can lower it and make it smaller so we can see other things better. Friends IMG. So let's start with the width. Okay, let's give it a width of, mm, I'm gonna try uh, 75 pixels. Mm -hmm. That should do, 75 pixels. Let's see how that is. Refresh. And I think that's about it. Now, first user is here. I want it over there. So let's uh, style the image. Let's tell this image to float to the left and then it's going to leave room for this text on the right. So let's go back here and say float. Float to the left. Now, when you say float to the left, you tell image to float to the, to the left, the text below that image will wrap around the image. So if we had more text here, it would come all the way down here. But since the text is just this one, it would remain here. And then let's give an, that image a little bit of uh, uh, 
some margin so that there's a gap between it and the rest of the items around it. So let's do that and say margin. And let's add maybe four pixels. Let's see how much we get there. We can always adjust it later on and I think it's still too small. So let me add it to eight pixels, something like that. So you see it leaves a gap between the text and the image and obviously the image that will come next. So that's it. We have the, uh, but let's, let's style the bar as well so that we move it from there. So in order to do that, let's add another style here and say friends. I have a problem with that spe spelling friends bar. I think that's what we named it. Let me go down here and make sure uh, friends bar. Yeah, right there. So first of all, this friends bar needs some gap between it uh, and the rest of the items. But first, let's put a background color so that we can see it. So let's say white. So before we can see it, we need to add a minimum height actually minimum height of 400 pixels and then let's let's see what we do there what we've got and that's it which is really good now let's leave a gap here so we're going to say margin top margin top uh, 20 pixels what else uh, the color should be a light gray something like AAA or let me put hash 88 uh, maybe AAA, something like that. And then let's add a padding of uh, 8 pixels. Uh, what else can we do? I think that's about it. So let me refresh. And you see, we have exactly what we wanted. Now all I need is to duplicate this area and come down here. And we'll be fine. So this box is called friends right there friends so this is one unit of this friends area the image and the name so let me just duplicate this a couple of times because i want to get uh four of these guys so on sublime text i'm using Control shift d in notepad plus plus that should be Control d so let's hit that d several times go back and see what has happened and now we have this mess okay so what's happening here is because of the floating of the image here uh, this item is here there there so it looks very confusing so what we could do is on these friends here we can tell it to clear the floating of the previous item so how we do that is let's go up here and add a style for friends Okay, so a style for friends will contain a clear. Now clear has three parameters. It can be left, you can clear what's on the left or what's on the right or just clear both. So let me just put both there for good measure. And there we go. So we have what we need. Now let's change the images one by one. So let's go down here and each one of these let me actually reduce the space between these guys. And since the names here, the, the images are named user one, two, three, up to four, we can simply change the numbers here and then we'll get different images. Okay, pretty good. And let's change their names. This one must be second user. This one, let me write something else. Uh, African girl. So uh, let me copy this one. Say African dude, just to make it look different. If I refresh, there we are. Now the text is too much here. So let's reduce that. So let me go back to friends here and say text. Actually this font size. 12 pixels should do and then font weight um, I want it to be bold and then font color which is the color 
Mm, I want to use the same color that I used for the blue bar here. So let me copy that from the top here and come down here and paste that there. Semicolon. And let's refresh and see what we've done. There we go. Now that looks much better. It looks almost like that. All right, so we are done with this friends area. The next one is going to be here, the area where we put the what's on your mind and the posts down here in this other div on this side. So I'll see you in the next video.